get some in. They'll tell you now if you ask your dad to get some in. So leave your mummy's laughing arms, there's no way you can win. You'll make him of your vocal job, so get some in. The rat's got two years of your life, now isn't that a sin? There's only one way to get out, and that's to get some in. Jakey, you awake? I couldn't be anything else but that cement mixer grinding away. <laughs> I never got to sleep at all. Morning, Bruce. No, it's not. I got out of bed in the middle of the night and tried to turn him over. But he just punched me in the kidneys and turned back again. <laughs> Why did his wife have to leave him? <laughs> I mean, you can see why. <laughs> why? <laughs> I'd still be in his caravan if she hadn't. Well, God, it's like living with what they throw away at the cookouts. <laughs> oh, my God. Zero hour. Here we go. The Kraken wakes. <laughs> Fag next. <laughs> <laughs> Well, don't just lie there, you dozy dollops. Holy Joe, shine some of your holy light on my shoes. <laughs> you jockstrap, you can darn me socks. A puff house, you can iron my underpants, you'll enjoy that. <laughs> and you, Edward the Seventh, you can lay out my best blues. What do you want your best blues for, Corporal? It's Saturday. Because I am going on a jolly to Blackpool. There's a coach laid on. Well, Blackpool? Can we go? Anyone can go, providing they're ready in time. Well, what time does the coach leave, Corporal? In about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> to the Waikiki Arms. <laughs> oh, 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 this is more like it. This is a touch of the bright lights, isn't it? Oh, gee, I've never seen anything like it. No, you're not likely to either, lad. It's the only one of its kind in Blackpool. Gimmicks. That's what the customers want these days. Here. Hello. Uh. Hello. Uh. Hello. Uh. Hello. Uh. Hello uh. <laughs> what are you having? Uh, three halves of bitter and an orange ale, please. Can I get you in the spirit of things? I mean, can't I interest you in a Mari mint cup or a Polynesian volcano? Right, how much? Seven and six each. Three halves of bitter and an orange ale, please. <laughs> I think I'll knock these exotic drinks on the head till the night trade comes in. Right. If you'd like to get yourself seated at one of my uh, warriors' feast tables, <laughs> I'll send your order over with a village maiden. Oh, oh, oh gosh, Order for number six, Mini Ha Ha. <laughs> mini Ha Ha? In Hawaii? That's not right. Sure. No. <laughs> you keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Hello. 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 Mrs. Marsh. Hello, lads. Hello, Mrs. Marsh. Oh, don't keep on with the bad Polynesia up to me ear holes. 
Well, it's a good gimmick, though, isn't it? You want to try living here. Oh, you live in there? If you call that living. Honestly, I'm run off me flaming feet. And if it ain't this plastic horror rubbing my legs raw, it's old cheap. Bigger banger there, scratching on my door every night. <laughs> Probably have a nervous breakdown. Could be having one for all I know. I'm that fed up. Does Corporal Marsh know about all this? Don't even know I'm here. Excuse me, lads. Well, what about that then? Quite turn up, Oh, hello, Brucey. <laughs> Your lady loves here. <laughs> oh, I don't. Well, blow her a kiss, at least. That's all she's getting. <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> I mean, why does she keep pestering me? Why can't she pick in somebody else? Because you're the one with the animal magnetism. Right. What's it to be, then? The pier? Fish and chips? I'll tell you what would cheer you up, Bruce. You can jump off the top of the tower. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go to the fair. Oh, yes, I love fairs. Great. Bruce? No, I'll go off on my own. We didn't want to spoil your day. Yeah. Well. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's brighten things up. Come on. One more drink before we go to the fair, then. Yeah. Eh? All right, same again. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. I'll have a pint of beer, please. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Well, I've been thinking. I'm a man now. Well, as good as, virtually. And I think it's time I started having the odd pint. Would your mother and father approve? Oh, they wouldn't mind. Ours isn't a dry vicarage, you know. Uh, yeah, Matthew, right. But I think you'd better start off on a half, though. No, 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 no. In at the deep end, that's me. Deep end, eh? <laughs> All right. Right, pints it is. <laughs> I'll go. Finish that. Matthew? Hmm? Are you sure about this deep end technique of yours? Oh, yes. I did it with the boys' brigade, and I'll do it with beer. <laughs> How did you manage to go in at the deep end with the boys' brigade? Well, I bought my pillbox hat and my bugle before I even filled in my application form. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Matthew, underneath it all, you're a bit of a hound. <laughs> hey, talking of hounds, I see Corporal Wendy's off on the scent. I don't follow you. Obvious. Bruce, innit? She's out hunting down a monarch of the Glen. <laughs> there we are. Oh. Hey, I'm Matthew. Right. Here's to the fun of the fair then, eh? Yeah. Good luck, Matthew. <laughs> Good luck, Matthew. Cheers. Cheerio. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite pleasant. <laughs> Matthew coming around again. 
to hand it to your digestive system, Matthew. Your first pint of beer, rock and chips, a candy floss, and now a knickerbocker glory. <laughs> yum, yum, that's what I say. <laughs> what do we do next? What about a game of clock golf? Oh, yeah, great. I'll be Max Faulkner. You can be Sam Sneed. <laughs> Who are you going to be, Jakey? Yeah, all right. <laughs> You stay here, in case he comes back. I'll go and look somewhere else, all right? What are you talking about, Oh, Jakey? dear. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. You haven't seen a little kiddie wandering about, have you? Pardon? My little brother, it is. He's only five. Jakey. Shut up. I'm supposed to... <laughs> oh, dear. I've lost him. How terrible. Yeah, fair haired he is. Little red trousers, white ankle socks. You sure you haven't seen him? Oh, no, I'm sorry. How long has he been missing? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. It seems like hours. I'm worried sick. Poor little mite. Yeah, well, thanks anyway. Oh, no, wait. I'll help you. No, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, very kind. Look, should we start in a fun fair? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a million of them. Hello, twerps. I've just been smashing everybody up on the bumper cars. <laughs> <laughs> Ten would buy us, please, love. I say, Corporal, you'll never guess who we saw this morning. No. Um, nobody, actually. <laughs> well, what do you want to bring it up for, then? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're weird, you two. <laughs> I'll see you then, twerps. I'm going to set Blackpool alight now. Um, Corporal. Corporal, um, do you know the Waikiki Arms? That pub near the aquarium. I've seen it, yeah, why? I wondered if you'd like to meet us in there for a drink this evening. <laughs> Were you lot? No chance. We're buying. At what time? <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll have a scotch with a whiskey chaser. <laughs> what on earth do you want to court his company for? Just had an idea. What idea? Well, if he comes, he'll meet his wife, won't he? Uh -huh. Well, she's obviously fed up, and let's face it, he does miss her in his own little way. You never know. They might even get back together again. What a very Christian thought. No, not entirely. See, if they do, he'll move out of our room and back to his caravan. <laughs> oh, goody gumdrops. <laughs> I'll have another nickel bo bock of glory on that. <laughs> this is very kind of you, Janet. Poor little soul. He's probably crying his eyes out somewhere. Yeah. Hey, listen, not there any woods around here. Perhaps he's run off there, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord! There he is now! There's <laughs> only one way to get out, and that's to get some in! Get some in! I did, actually. Look, Corporal Wendy, I don't know what you've got in your mind, but whatever it is, leave me out of it. <laughs> it's no good, is it? You don't even like me. It's not that. It's just that I get perpetual homesickness. And today it's particularly perpetual. I don't know what it's like to be homesick. Think yourself lucky. No, I mean, I've never had a home to feel homesick about. You mean you like Dr. Bernardo's or something? <laughs> or something. Would you like to chuck one of my stones? <laughs> You're not missing anything, you know. It's 
very overrated. Homesickness. It's very glamorized. <laughs> Just stupid, really. I don't think it's stupid. That's why I go away on my own when I get like that. I go off on my own when I'm unhappy. Do you? Yes. Ah, it's the best thing to do. Being your own. Yes. Well, I'll be going. I'd rather you didn't. Would you, Bruce? Aye. I'd rather you stayed, Wendy. You call me Wendy. <laughs> Aye, I did, didn't I? <coughs> Would you like another one of my stones? <laughs> of a first-class flanker. So clever, I could have called it. Well, let's just keep our fingers crossed, eh? Yeah, lads. Cheers, Mr. Marsh. Three pints. Thank you. Um, Mrs. Marsh, may I ask you a personal question? What? Well, remember your husband. How could I forget? No, that's not the question. No. <laughs> Has he always been prone to nightmares? No. All he were prone to was snoring like a pig all night. I told you. <laughs> what? Well, he's in our billet now. He seems to have nightmares all the time, you know. Thrashing about, moaning and crying out. <coughs> Does he cry out anything in particular? Your name, mostly. <coughs> I bet he still his usual rat bag himself when he wakes up, though. No, no, that's, that's a funny thing, you see. He's different, somehow, you know. He's sort of, um, uh, what was that expression you used, Ken? He's diminished. What's that, do you mean? No. <laughs> Less aggressive, yeah. He's quieter. Quieter, yeah. You wouldn't know he was in a room some of the time, you know. He just sits there and broods a lot. Does he? Just a minute. What's he living in your billet for? Oh, well, he said he couldn't stay in the caravan, not without you. No one to skivvy for him, I suppose. No, nah, I think there's more to it than that. You telling the truth? Oh, my baby sister's life. <laughs> Mini ha ha! Customers. All right, all right. Don't get your shark's teeth in a twist. <laughs> that was an awful thing to do, Jakey, swearing on your little sister's life. It's all right. I ain't got a little sister. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure a false oath isn't even worse. Oh, get out your pulpit and drink your beer. Oh, very well. <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> mm. He's done it again. <laughs> Hang about, Kenny's here. Hello, uh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope he drinks. <clears throat> right, Flash Harry, where's my drink then? Evening, Corporal. Hello. There's something wrong here. Where's Aggie's head? <laughs> he went off on his own this morning and we haven't seen him since. If he's making a bolt for the border, I'll suffocate him with his own sporran. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been on the pier, I have. Here, I smashed the glass when I hit that punch bag. Yeah. <laughs> that's the way to impress a man. Yeah, what can I get? I've got to hold it. Percy. Alice. <laughs> so this is where you are then? Looks like it, don't it? I expect you'd like to talk privately. Yeah. Oh, would we like to talk privately, Alice? I don't mind if you don't. Well, we'll just... No, on. you stay there. We'll go into the pounding surf bar. It's quiet in there. Five minutes, Fred. All right, lass, but don't lean on it. <laughs> Grass suits you, Alice. Very uncomfortable to sit in. How long have you been working here, then? Ever since I walked out. You haven't aged, you know. <laughs> it were only three weeks ago. <laughs> it seems longer to me. Percy, is it true you've moved out of our caravan? <laughs> the day after you left. Because it's haunted, Alice. 
It's haunted by you. I'm not dead. No, I know. I mean, you left behind your Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Every time I opened up the biscuit tin, there you were staring up at me. Even the scorch marks on the ironing board began to look like you. I just couldn't stand it anymore. I never could stand it. That's one of the reasons I left. No, I know. I know a 1935 caravan ain't fit for my queen, but if only you'd have waited. Well, maybe I could have, if his marriage had meant anything to you. Meant anything to me? Marriage? I regard marriage as a sacred thing. Then why did you bet me wedding ring on a game of cards? Ah, <laughs> uh, because that wasn't me. Oh, don't lie. I saw you do it. No, no, I, I have discovered, since I've been having the psychiatric up the camp, I have discovered that the man in that card game was my alternative ego. What's one of them? Well, it, it was explained to me like this. Apparently, a man who loves and reveres his wife so much is always worried about losing her. Hence and therefore, he can only tolerate losing her uh, as a symbol, like a wedding ring in the kitty. Complicated. Uh, very few people suffer from it, apparently. <laughs> it's known as parapsychological psychosomatic schizophrenia. Hey, has he given you a tonic for it? Uh, a tonic won't help, Alice. You mean you're incurable, Mad? No, only nearly. Uh, there's only one thing that can help me, the psychiatrist said. Well, one person, really. Oh. Hey, just think, if they make it up, he could be out of our room by tonight. Oh. Amen to that. <laughs> no one's many feet. Bruce can moan all on his own. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Do you know a Corporal Marsh? Yes, yes, we know him. Only I'm supposed to meet him in here tonight. <laughs> well, where is he? He's been posted, suddenly. <laughs> Hong Kong, Singapore. Malaya. <laughs> There's a corporal in the pounding surf bar. Oh, ta. Oh, blow, blink and flip. <laughs> and can you honestly promise me that I'm the only woman for you? Alice, I haven't even looked at another woman since you left. I swear to you. There you are, Percy Pimple. Oh, no, no, I'm somebody else. Oh, now, don't fuck about. Come on, you promised to take me to the tower. Oh, Only good. woman, eh? No, I must have met her when I was having one of my blackouts. <laughs> well, I've been oh, all oh, 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 rat bag, that's it. Don't ever come back to me again. Who needs you anyway? Who needs you? Come on, Gloria. I'll introduce you to Reginald Dixon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, huh? <coughs> On the other hand, he might not be out of our room by tonight. Well, let's put the car bush on the evening, isn't it? Come on, let's push off. Yeah. No. And a jolly old etch. Yeah. Yes, cheer, yeah. Look, you be careful this time, Matthew. Yeah, just sip it, all right? Oh, very well. Well, I don't see what all the fuss is about. I mean, I feel per perfectly... I... <laughs> <laughs> She nicks me wallet. <laughs> Women, I hate them all. I hate everybody. <laughs> but he's going to be in a lovely mood tomorrow. Jakey? Yeah? What's that? You oh, sorry, Sorry, man. That's the last time I try my hand at matchmaking. Future people can just get on with it by themselves. Now it's 